Hello. Hello. Excuse me. Hello. Like uh, instead of creating a new object, if we add like uh, samples to our visit uh, visit object, and if we like uh, give a relationship between visit and our this uh, first first table that uh, product mm -hmm. table, and if we give the product ID, so we can track accordingly. Hello. Yeah, just give me one minute. I'm thinking uh, what you have said. You have said that okay. Under visit, create a table called samples. Okay, very good. This is what you are saying. And create a field called uh, sample, right? It should be a relationship. Yes. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Now, this way you can. <coughs> Connect this visit with one of the product. Let's say with red, okay, or green or blue. One of those uh, products, right? But where will you track the numbers? The point is not just tracking that. Okay, whether the sample was given or not. The point is that how many samples were given, right? So where do we track those numbers? Here, I, here you cannot track it. We can have one more field sample count. Good. One we can more have one more field sample, sample count. count. Very good. <coughs> so, okay. Let me show to you in in in, in a paper sheet. Okay. Okay, let's say there is a visit, visit ID is V1 and the date is 23rd May and uh, the store that you visited is ABC store, sales rep is XYZ, okay, duration is 40 minutes and during this visit, so this is the record, right, so this is what we are planning to create, okay, duration, sample, okay, so now what we are trying to you know, talk about here is that under sample we will create a relationship okay so this value of this can either be red or green or blue one of the products one product right a relationship can be done with one product at a time right okay and give a count also let's say 30 red boxes or sorry three samples being given three samples you give okay of red fine good thing now think of it in case during this visit during this visit the client the store asked let's say the sales rep you are the sales rep you yourself okay you went for a visit now this store owner has asked you for one red sample one green sample and two blue samples how do you track that thing here you can connect this field only to one. That's why we need other objects. Can connect with. I'm sorry. So that is the reason we need another object for samples. Fine. So in case we put try to put this thing here, then the challenge that we have is we can just mention of one particular product which has been given as sample. Or if you don't, uh, or you might have to, you know, remove this and then just give a complete count of the samples. But that does not give you a clear picture, right? So for that, what we need to do is this. I I hope this to, uh, this part is clear with uh, all of us, right? So for that, what we would now need to do is we would just need to go back to our. We will be creating. Oh, sorry. Sheet one. We are on the sheet one, right? and create this another object for tracking samples okay so here you create track your samples uh, put the id visit on which visit the samples were given okay but the problem here is 
here also if I put a product if I connect it with a product again it will be connected to one product only right so it's not it's not doing anything better than uh, you know that uh, tracking it here right so tell me what is the on a visit there are products being given try to understand this on a visit there are products being being given so we we saw the, that uh, you know even if we create one more object it is not helping us to you know great extent again if we create a relationship here it will track only one product at a time so that also does not solve the purpose so now you tell me one thing on a visit there are products being given as samples and a, so there needs to be a relationship between products and visits there has to be a relationship between them right between a product and service uh, product and visit yes. there is a relationship what kind of a relationship is that is that one to many or uh, what kind of a relationship is there between product and visit It is a many to many relationship. Many. Many products can have many visits. Yeah. Right. On a particular visit there can be multiple samples or multiple products which are being given out as samples. And the same product you know can be given as samples on, the, on different visits. <laughs> so here the story is very simple. It is gonna be a junction object between these two. Right? between the products and the visits alright so it's very simple if we create junction object whenever there is many to many relationship right right mm -hmm. okay so junction object should have a visit id it should have a product id and it should have a number so on which visit which product how many numbers that's it so if on a particular visit three you know three different types of products were given you make three entries for it visit id 1 product id 1 number 3 visit id 1 product id 2 number 2 so that is so the samples can be a junction object here. Clear on it? So this will be a relationship with the visit and this will be a relationship with product so the whole concept of having a different product object was this that we can create this junction object and then you know you can track all the information related to product here So this is going to be the initial data model for them for the kind of requirement that they have this is where they can track things okay so what we are going to I, do I have okay. a doubt mm -hmm. please go ahead on, so what we are going to do on this mm -hmm. junction object please go ahead. On this junction of object, the number relationship product, I, I didn't understand how was that uh, oh, sorry. relationship sorry, sorry. product. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. No, it was meant to be like this. It was, this should be meant to be like this. This should be like That's a count, right? That is a count. That is a count. So on a visit, on 20th visit, on 20th 
box has given how many numbers fine all right so uh, 